and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks hello there i do videos of food rooms and extras in this video two of the best irish pubs will be featured Maybe when I ask for outdoor seating, maybe. Check it out. Okay, I got in. Pretty cool, huh? Beautiful open space. The interior looks like it was meticulously put together and it looks like it belongs at a Disneyland. There's a reason why it feels so authentic in here and I'll tell you that after I eat my meal. All right, I feel like I'm in Ireland. Top of the morning to you. All right, this way. Huh? Right here's the outside here. All right, cool. All right, I'm outside. No show. But they do offer shows during prime time hours. Some basketball game here. All right, first time here eating at the Irish Fine Irishman or Nine Fine Irishman. Uh, the bar, yeah, they got some heaters here. All right, let's get busy. All right, here's the menu, and uh, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple here because my experience with Irish food is not too extensive, but I'll order a few dishes that I think are traditional Irish food. Oh, look, there's the shepherd's pie. I gotta order it, although it's made with beef instead of lamb. Oh, check it out. They offer steaks at reasonable prices. Burgers and sandwiches. Oh, look, they got a hot corned beef sandwich. You know, I heard corned beef is not traditional Irish food. Huh, interesting, huh? Um, here's the whiskey and beer list. Uh, check it out. Oh boy, they have Powers whiskey. Uh, I love Powers, but no Powers for me today. And this is some sort of a soup. It's called coal cannon soup or something like that. I think this might be my official first Irish restaurant food. I've had like bangers and mash and that kind of stuff, but I've never had this. All right. I'm going at this. It got very subtle taste. I recommend this one. All right. You know, this tasted like, like a, you know, I wasn't alive during the medieval times, but it tastes like medieval food. And even their utensils have a real heavy feel to it. I like it. So this is the shepherd's pie, huh? Looks like mashed potatoes so far, but we'll see how it goes, huh? All right, here's a little update. You know, and I don't mean this the bad way. First of all, this off the bat, I like it, okay? And the inside is like, you know, the Taco Bell burrito meat? It has a consistency of that, but in a more refined, homemade, quality taste. Uh, well, yeah, there's pieces of meat, I guess. Is it lamb or it's just regular beef, right? Some would say that this is cottage pie, not shepherd's pie because it is made with ground beef and not with the ground lamb. Right, here's a little update. Uh, this is the first meal in my life where I, I'm like, whoa, this is what hearty is. Um, after a while, it did get a, like a one note kind of, kind of. I'm getting tired of the taste. It is big. It looks small here, but it's deep. It's like a... Uh, it's like a jacuzzi. Do I recommend it? Yeah, go for it. Maybe there should be like an accompanying like a sauce or something. Maybe like a, <laughs> maybe some tapatio or maybe some cochijang in here. But I think you get what I'm saying now. Huh? All right, let's go. Some cre creaky floors. Awesome wooden floors. It doesn't feel like a prop. You can't fake the sound that it produces. Welcome to Ireland. All right then. Oh, and the reason why it feels so real in here is because all the interior pieces were built in Ireland and shipped over here for final construction. Back to the hotel. It's uh, maybe 5.30 in the morning. I haven't gone to sleep yet, but after my sleep, I'm going to head over there to Mandalay Bay and go check out Rira. Oh, yo. 
Oyo Hotel. Comment below if anyone stayed at the Oyo Hotel before. Let me know how that's how that went. Let me know. Let me know. All right. Almost there. About to meet up with a few friends. Hey, 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 what up guys? All right, all right. At this point, I've down a few shots with my one friend. Now we're walking over to meet our other friends who are waiting for us. It, it's a one take situation, you know what I mean? The, I don't know what's going on, but it's a one take situation. This is my friend from LA, Memphis native and his wife. He's a talented actor. Give me a red Zappa ale to help save mankind. Bam, come here, watch your, uh, you know, the soccer matches. They're open early, okay? Daily. Uh, Just off the bat, the interior, it doesn't give you the same feeling that you get when you walk into Nine Fine Irishmen. It's not bad, and it works, but it just doesn't give you the wow factor that I got from the Nine Fine Irishmen. Rira is Irish for fun and merriment, and you could tell, they do provide that. Hey guys. Finally, I was able to make it here at Ri Ri, an uh, Irish uh, pub here at Mandalay Bay slash Luxor. Cheers, guys. All right, here's the menu. Uh, check it out. Live music, seven nights a week. Oh, Guinness barbecue burger sounds good. Same with the publican Reuben sandwich. Classic bangers and mash. Ooh, corned beef and cabbage. And the breakfast menu served from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Woo wee! Yo, yo, hey guys. I didn't know Irish people eat wings like this. I don't know what flavor this is yet. I'll tell you later. But however, this is good. This is worth it. You basically ordered Szechuan wings. Wow. Um, I recommend this. Wow. This is, this is good. Real good. Thank you. Oh, shit. Woo! 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 Oh, woo! That's big. I didn't think you'd see that. Thank you. Guys, that's the steak and bread. Fish and chips here. Alright, guys. Uh, uh, shepherd's pie. And that's a salad. That's a salad. That's a salad. Thank you. Good luck. Let me do a taste test for you guys. Steak looks juicy. Hey guys, I never had this before. I'm just giving it a try. I had the shepherd's pie with you. And the good thing is, to be shepherd's pie, you gotta have lamb. And they said they have lamb in this one. So let me do it. So let's do a little test. Okay. Shepherd's pie with lamb. Okay. Wow, this is better than the one at Nine Fine Irishmen. You know what? I do taste the lamb. There's lamb in there. Oh, for sure. I, I do taste it. All right. This is uh, steak and fritz. Let me, let me give you a little heads up. Okay. Guys, everything is good for what it is, but this is the highlight here. This is the highlight. Uh, yeah, let me do a little shot. Let me do a little drink for you. Okay, uh, Come on, let me take it. Uh, this is a cool place. All right, so this is a, the Riri Irish restaurant here at the Mandalay Bay. And so far, the service has been good, okay? I guess this is the uh, bathroom area. 
You wanna get it? Okay, thumbs up. Hello! Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, one set one set of the restaurants here. Okay. And then you come out here. It's kind of a cool little setting. Uh, let me tell you right now. Okay. Let me tell you how this goes. We were able to get last minute, uh, like, we didn't have a reservation. We just walked in here and we just did a thing. I guess they have a little side action here too. So they got this room, a little loungy area here. Okay. Alright, so the main bar is here, right guys? And ladies! The main bar here. They have about 46 different bar areas, so you won't have a problem pulling up a drink. The main bar, main area here, and it extends all the way here. Uh, look how cool this is. Uh, shout out to Joshua who checked us in. Uh, yeah. So this right here is at, if you go that way, it's Mandalay Bay. If you go this way, it's Luxor, right? So, so which one is better, Rira or Nine Fine Irishmen? On Yelp, they have accrued almost the exact same Yelp rating with almost the same number of reviews. Oh, if you're a Yelper, check out my Lemongrass at Aria video, link in the description box. But wow, I can't deny Nine Fine Irishman's interior design. It's just so beautiful in there. It's clear that Rira serves the better food. Their shepherd's pie was way better. And all the other food that came out was just delicious, especially for its price point. But location, location, location. Nine Fine Irishman, they got the centralized location with the outdoor patio that leads you directly to the strip. And their food is good. It's just not as good as Rira's, but it's still good. For everyday eats, I would go to Rira, but uh, for special events such as St. Patty's Day, I would hit up Nine Fine Irishmen. I got the boost Bluetooth working. You proud of me? And look who's here. <laughs> oh boy, the food at Rira knocked out my friend here for 12 hours straight. Now this is talent. All right, if you made it this far, please subscribe, push that like button, and uh, comment. Say hi, or if you got general Vegas questions, uh, ask. I will answer them all. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching, and uh, come again. Bye-bye.